In this video, we want to show a bit of a longer example of how to use multiple workflows and workflow templates together. There's a previous uh, tutorial, there's another one that we have that shows a pretty more simple scenario of using just a couple. This one I'm gonna show you how to actually, you know, do some background contact engagement or interaction tracking, kind of maybe, you know, in the background while you're actually doing some other workflows of promotion and welcoming contacts. And so in this example, I'm going to be showing you how the welcome new contacts could lead to the course promotion, which then could lead to the basic email course. And all along is actually then allowing you to track the activity that's going on with the basic scoring plan. Uh, so to be able to apply scores based on people's interaction with your messages, perhaps through the onboarding and also the course. And then that could eventually trigger in the end, this rewarding loyal contacts workflow. And so I know that's a bit of a lot, you know, maybe a lot of workflows to think about, but this is kind of a cool way to see that it could actually in the end lead to a few different workflows. And so you can check out our uh, general welcome new contacts configuration video. If you want, we've got it available or the FAQ. So this is just a very general workflow that ends with a tag called onboarded. And so for the you know, sake of brevity, I won't go through actually configuring that. But this workflow right here will end with a tag called onboarded. And that onboarded tag, as we have it set up, would then trigger automatically this course promotion workflow, which actually starts with a tag called promoted, or not, not promoted, onboarded, of course. So let me actually show you that really quick, because I can show you what this looks like. Of course, I have a lot of drafts. So you can see this is going to be the welcome workflow series that I talked about. So they subscribe, they get a couple of messages, they get a tag after that, which then triggers this recipe course promotion. So whenever they get this onboarded tag, we automatically trigger a promotion to join our online course. We track if people are actually joining the course or not. And if they are, they get a tag at which point we could then actually go ahead and deliver the course content automatically based on that tag. So this workflow templates is set up so it would start if someone has a tag. And so we just need to find our course subscriber tag, recipe course subscriber, so that whenever someone gets this tag, they will then be able to receive the message. And remember in this one, Whenever they click to join the course, they're automatically sent this um, confirmation message with information about the course. And so you can see here that there is a wait element here that's included uh, where we wait for a couple of days simply because they just received uh, the confirmation message of the course. So we can wait a couple of days before we deliver the next lesson. Or you can change this to be wait for one day, wait for a few hours, or remove it completely and automatically send uh, the next lesson to them. This is totally up to you. But this is why this element is here, basically, because you did send them a confirmation message at the time of sign up. So you may want to wait a day or two uh, to get them, you know, a time to take it all in before they get the next lesson. But this is up to you. And then you just need to configure all of the courses that you have. So we just need to go ahead and have our content. So let's find our lessons. See, I can look all around and see where I've actually created my lessons. I believe it's a draft actually. Yes, here we go. So this is our recipe or baking boot camp. And so, you know, the big work for you is just to make sure you already have the content created. You know, these templates are here for you. They're already configured and laid out or, you know, laid out for you. You can figure the properties and need to, of course, already have your uh, content ready to go. And so I do already have my lessons ready to fill in here. And so this would be automating my course delivery for me. And the whole process is actually set up. So it's gone from welcoming them to my list, promoting my course, then automatically delivering my course. And let's just say for the sake of this example that it's just gonna be you know, this many lessons long. Of course, remember with the templates, you can fully customize and add in additional wait and send message actions to be able to you know, provide more lessons. Maybe it's a two week course. Maybe it's you know, a one lesson a day course. It's totally up to you to decide how that is. And then we can give them a tag, basically, that the course has been completed uh, if we wanted to. 
So we could create a tag called recipe course completed. So they've received all the lessons. And of course the template is just, you know, there as the bones. If you wanted to add in some specific tracking or behavior, uh, tracking or interaction tracking to this workflow, you of course can. If you're really curious about some type of interaction or a link clicked in a particular course lesson and you want to, something to happen based on that, you can of course expand this for that. But this is set up just to be a general delivery system. So this is gonna be our recipe course delivery workflow. So I can actually go ahead and get that one ready to go. So now we've got three workflows we could see. And now I can actually go ahead and make sure I have set up at this point, and this is actually gonna be in the lead qualifying section, this basic scoring plan. And this basic scoring plan is just going to be able to automatically apply scores to our um, contacts whenever they interact with our messages. And so this is really kind of a blank slate uh, workflow that I hope that you think about other ways that you can score your contacts. But this could be basically not necessarily specific to core subscribers, but let's say specific to people who sign up for my mailing list. Because remember, in this workflow, people join my Chocolate Monster mailing list. And so if I have this workflow already set up, that whenever someone joins and whenever any message is opened, it could be any type of message. Maybe you want to check newsletters. Maybe you just want to check any automation messages to be opened. It just any message that you want to be able to track, you can automatically add scoring points every time someone opens one of your automation messages. And so far, you're sending automation messages in your welcome workflow, in your course promotion, in your course delivery. So this would be a great one to be able to start automatically adding scoring points based on whether contacts have actually uh, been interacting with your messages. And additionally, you could create multiple of these types of workflows and be able to change this to be, for example, link clicked. Whenever someone clicks a link, give them a particular score. Or you could create a workflow that looks just like this, uh, but switch out this uh, element for visited URL or purchase. I hope this workflow, this is why we created it like this, so it can be a way for you to think about the different ways that you can actually uh, score your contacts. So we use the basic one of message opened, but then you could just simply create multiple types of these workflows. And so we could call this one scoring opens. And then maybe you could create another workflow based on this template called, you know, scoring clicks, scoring purchases, scoring, uh, you know, uh, website visits so that you can actually now start scoring your contacts or customers on multiple different levels and then start delivering some rewards or some acknowledgements for those whose scores reach a certain level or maybe those who drop a little too high. So I can save and publish this workflow. And we can create one final, this is our kind of really long series uh, of workflows where we're talking about all these different workflows. And you know, just another word of caution that I've mentioned before is do think about the way you're using your tags because we're often ending workflows with tags and then beginning workflows with tags in multiple scenarios. So you do wanna make sure that you keep it straight. Uh, you know, have some type of, you know, cheat sheet with you or something to keep it all straight. Because eventually if you do this a lot, you would have lots of workflows, lots of tags, and you could potentially lose track of which contacts are flowing into which workflows based on which tags. And maybe some people could get, you know, duplicated messages if you're using them throughout different workflows. So basically all of that said, just to try and keep it straight within yourself with, you know, a cheat sheet or a spreadsheet you have where you're keeping it straight about the tags you're using and things like that. So we've welcomed contacts, we've promoted a course, we've delivered a course, and we have started scoring interactions with us. And so after some time, you could, for example, initiate a win back campaign, or you could initiate a retargeting campaign, or a rewarding loyal contacts campaign to deliver custom offers based on those who actually have, um, you know, have really high scoring points. We could deliver thank you messages to them with special discounts or downloads. So I think that's enough for this video. We have shown the way that you can actually link multiple workflows together. So I do hope you'll give it a shot, but also keep it straight.